Welcome to another example on partial fraction decomposition of a given rational expression. In this video, we'll see an example of when we have repeated linear factors in the denominator. But before we set this up, we first want to verify the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. Notice we have a degree two numerator, a degree three denominator, which means we can set up our partial fractions. If the degree of the numerator was greater than or equal to the degree of the denominator, we'd have to perform long division first. So we'll start by factoring the denominator completely. Let's go ahead and do this on the side. We want to factor x cubed plus two x squared plus x. First step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor, which in this case is x. So we'll have x times the quantity x squared plus two x plus one. Notice this trinomial factors again. It factors into two binomials. The first positions will be x and x. The factors of positive one that add to positive two are positive one and positive one. So we have plus one and plus one. Notice how we have two factors of x plus one. So we can write this as x times the quantity x plus one squared. So let's rewrite this as five x squared plus twenty x plus six divided by x times the quantity x plus one squared. So because we have three linear factors in our denominator, even though one's repeated, we'll have three fractions in our partial fraction decomposition, where the first fraction will have a denominator of x, our first linear factor, and because we have two factors of x plus one, this will give us two more fractions, where the first fraction will have a denominator of x plus one, or one factor of x plus one, but the second fraction will have two factors of x plus one, so we'll have x plus one squared. And now because we have linear factors in the denominator, our numerators will be constants, but for right now they're unknowns, so we'll use the variable a here, the variable b here, and the variable c. Now we want to find the values of a, b, and c. To do this, we'll first clear the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCD, which would be x times the quantity x plus one squared. So that's our next step. Notice on the left side, x over x simplifies to one, and so does the quantity x plus one squared over the quantity x plus one squared. So we're left with five x squared plus twenty x plus six on the left. And now on the right, notice this first product, we would have an x over x that simplifies to one. So we'd have a times the quantity x plus one squared. For the second product, Notice that one factor of x plus one simplifies out, so we'd have plus b x and then one factor of x plus one. And then following for the third product, notice how we have x plus one squared over x plus one squared, so the last term is just plus c x. This is called the general equation. We want to use this to find the values of a, b, and c that will give us our partial fraction decomposition. And we have two options. We can use a method called equating coefficients, which means we would multiply out the right side of this equation, combine like terms, and then comparing the like terms on the right side and left side of the equation, we would set the coefficients equal to each other, which would give us a system of equations in terms of a, b, and c, which we would then solve. The other option is to select convenient values of x to help us find the values of a, b, and c. So we're going to use the shorter method of using specific values of x to find the values of a, b, and c. The values that we'll use are the values of x that will make these factors involving x equal to zero. For example, if we let x equal zero, notice how on the right side of the equation we would just have zero plus zero plus six, or six, equals, if x is zero here, we'd have one squared times a, that's just a, if x is zero here, this product would be zero, and so would this product here. So now we know that a must equal six. The next convenient value of x would be x equals negative one because 
that'll make x plus 1 equal to 0. So let's go ahead and do that next. x equals negative 1, so we'll substitute negative 1 in for x. This would be positive 5 plus negative 20, that's negative 15, plus 6, which would be negative 9. On the right side, if x equals negative 1, this would be 0, and this would be 0 as well, so we'd have just c times negative 1 or negative c. Well, dividing both sides by negative 1, we would have c equals positive 9. Now we're still left to find the value of b. We've already used the convenient values of x, so now we'll have to select one more value of x, perform substitution, but since we also know a equals 6 and c equals 9, we'll still be able to find the value of b. So let's go ahead and use x equals 1. So if x equals 1 on the left side, we have 5 plus 20 plus 6, that's 31, equals on the right side. Again, if x is 1, we have 1 plus 1, that's 2 squared, that's 4 times a, but a is 6, 6 times 4 is 24, plus in the parentheses we have 1 plus 1 or 2, so we have 2 times 1 times b, that's 2b, and then plus c times x, well c is 9 and x is 1, 9 times 1 is 9. So now we can solve this for b, 24 plus 9 is 33. Subtract 33 on both sides, that's negative 2 equals 2b. Divide both sides by 2. Now we know that b is equal to negative 1. Now that we know the values of a, b, and c, we have our partial fraction decomposition where a is positive 6, b is negative 1, and c is positive 9. Let's go ahead and write this out on the next slide. So we just found that 5x squared plus 20x plus 6 divided by the quantity x to the third plus 2x squared plus x. We could also leave this in factored form, but either way this is equal to a divided by x or 6 divided by x. Then instead of writing plus negative 1 divided by the quantity x plus 1, We'll go and just write minus 1 divided by the quantity x plus 1. And then since c is 9, we have plus 9 divided by the quantity x plus 1 squared. This right side would be the partial fraction decomposition of the original rational expression. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.